cooperate with um, uh, the events department yeah, at school and um, we are very interested to, uh, to teach the kids how to take care about the marine life and we had a conference from UN uh, they came here like a special department from the UN they came here for the marine biology uh, awareness um, and we took them to Mars Alam uh, and for them it was the first time ever for the kids to do uh, like underwater experience and uh, they were amazed by the marine life and the colors and how beautiful is the underwater world uh, for the sharks as you said sharks it's it's like like the dogs, uh, they will never come and bite you for no reason. I mean, uh, for the, you are like a, like a, like alien for them. Somebody who's coming with bubbles out. So they are curious. They come close to you. They see who are you, how are you acting, this stuff. If you try to run after them with a flashing camera, you know, in the face, and or, or trying to squeeze them. At, at the reef or in the corals, and then of course they are scared and they are trying to defend themselves. So they are attacking you. The same like dogs. Um, so there is no need for worries about sharks. Sharks really it's fish, and they are a bit big, but they are not interested in human at all. If there is any accident habit, it's accident. Uh, it's um, they don't mean it. They are scared, so they are defending themselves or their family. Uh, or um, they are confused because they see by they don't see by our normal eyes. They see by the car magnetics, like they don't see as 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 we see. So sometimes they get uh, confused. They think like you are seal, especially like when you are in in like stable swim like this not swimming so they attack you if they think that you are uh, here it, it's one one of the most beautiful uh, place to go for diving because in Egypt we have uh, natural diving like cave canyon blue holes uh, by the way, we have the third world, we have the third deepest hole in the world, which is the blue hole in the um, This is if you are talking about natural diving. If you are talking about marine life diving, so we have in Sharm el Sheikh and in Hurghada, dolphins, sharks, mantas, turtles, all the like amazing, beautiful uh, uh, marine life underwater. Uh, if you are talking about history underwater, we have uh, a lot of ships like Cecil Gorm uh, and more and more ships and wrecks underwater. So you can go diving, you can see the Second World War uh, or the First World War, a uh, piece of art, you know, like wrecks underwater. I mean like I will talk about elementary because I have like experience with elementary. Uh, elementary is a have a, a, like a part of sharks and, and fish and some stuff like this but they are not talking about Egypt they are not talking specific about Red Sea uh, I would prefer that there is more involved about Red Sea and the history behind this Red Sea and how it become like a, like this Red Sea size and the, how the marine life built and the corals you know, like 10 years, 10 years it takes, 10 years for one centimeter uh, piece of quartz. So if you just step on a piece of quartz or if you, if you break it, it will take about average 10 years to grow one centimeter. So I mean like kids, they need to learn this stuff. And they need to learn that this is amazing, beautiful wealth we have in Egypt. And then they can take care about it and they can be interested to go and dive uh, in this Red Sea to see how amazing world it is. Of course, I agree with you, like, uh, uh, if, if we move a bit to the coast side, uh, rather than like living just in buildings and constructions around each other, you know, it will reflect, this is will reflect on our behaviors. You can see like people, they are getting more aggressive sometimes, they are getting more, uh, because they don't see natural. 
you don't you don't see the beautiful sunrise every day morning. You don't see you don't recognize the sunset. Um, you don't see the flat water at the sunset. You don't recognize this beautiful nature. So of course I would recommend if if we start to build. Uh, like more buildings like Laguna, like like Laguna, sorry, um, across the coast. That will that will change our culture and our behaviors as Egyptians. Yeah, first, I mean, like I want to give the message to to the education uh, departments. I mean, um, there are people who are responsible to educate the kids. We need to take them out of Cairo. People, they are very interested to take them to museums inside Cairo. They are a bit scared to take them to Sinai uh, because of the security issue. But I believe if they communicate with, uh, with the right people, they will, they will take them safely to Sinai and to show them how amazing, beautiful piece of land we have in our country. Sinai, it's not only the Red Sea. Sinai, it's also the mountain. It's the Bedouin's culture there. It's, uh, it's a beautiful land that a lot of kids here, they didn't see it. I would really advise for all the kids and the parents to discover Egypt, uh, starting by Sinai and the coast of Red Sea.